In this quick tips video, we're going to be looking at the brushes panel. Over here under the properties panel is the brushes panel. You can see that we can open and close our different brushes. Now, if we want to make a favorites group of brushes that we use all the time, I have mine labeled brushes. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new one from scratch. So we're going to add a group and let's go find it here. My brushes too. We're going to double click on the name and we're going to call this favorites. All right, now let's say I like this brush. I can right click here. I can copy the brush preset with control shift C and paste with control shift V. So let's press control shift V right here. Our liner control shift C tap here. You notice that this turns blue control shift V. Now we can use this area right here to move this up go up here let's minimize this and then move this down now our favorites is here at the top now if we don't want a brush we can right click on it we can remove group or we can remove just the brush if you want more brushes what you can do is you can click on share brushes when you click on share brushes this will open up here you can choose you can choose visit brush library and then right here you can drag and drop these onto Rebel. So here we have one brush being shared. We're not going to do that right now. Now if we want we can actually take this brush that we copied and we can bring it over to a new tool. My brush is right here. This is blue. We're going to hit control shift V and notice that we pasted the liner in. This is going to behave a little differently than it does in watercolor in inks, any of the other media. They'll have different properties under the hood, but you can copy over a lot of the information from that specific brush over and then have it then have it working inside of another media. Now let's go ahead and remove this. So what we can do is we can right click and choose remove group, or we can use the context menu right here and remove group. You can import brushes if you download those from the website. You can export your brushes right here as well. All right, let's go ahead and remove the group. And we're back to where we started. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to shade with the pencil tool. So stay tuned.